Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. In this video, I'll be opening up 20 X and Y series booster packs. Each of these I bought from the Dollar Tree, and as you can imagine, each of these packs were a dollar a piece. I bought four different sets, five different packs of each set. And these packs are a little bit different than normal packs. They only have three cards per pack, so you're not guaranteed a rare or an ultra rare in any of these packs, but you can get them in the pack, so I thought it'd be worth a shot at buying a few of these packs to open up. I know a lot of people had requested that I open these packs on YouTube. So I have the five packs of Breakpoint, five packs of Breakthrough, Five packs of Ancient Origins. And then five packs of Primal Clash. And I'll open these oldest to newest, starting off with the Primal Clash packs. I know a friend of mine has, have, has bought several of these Dollar Tree packs and was able to get an Ultra Rare or two. So I'm not exactly sure on the card trick here. So the first card in the first pack is Trap Inch. There's a Nose Pass and a Celio. So there is two commons and an uncommon. And this is just an informative card on the Pokemon League. So we'll set those aside. And if you're you're not able to work or can't work part time, if, if you're just young, maybe you have an allowance, a dollar is a lot cheaper than four dollars or even more than four dollars for packs in stores like Walmart. Might be worth a shot at just one of these packs. So next pack here starts off with a Mudkip. Ooh, there's a Reverse Hollow right on. That is an uncommon. And then there is a Nidorina. Then that same thing, the, the card that advertises the Pokemon League. Okay, next pack here. And I'll try and get the packs open pretty quick just because there are 20 packs in this video. Only three cards per pack, though. Okay, pack here. Starts off with a Sveal. Honage and a Needle Queen. Thought that was a rare at first, just an uncommon. Second to last pack of Primal Clash. Okay, pack starts off with a Needle Ran. There's a Tentacool and a Bouffalant. So, still awaiting that first. Rare, I have pulled one Reverse Hollow. Okay, next up here. And opening five packs is really like opening just a little bit over one regular booster pack. So here is a Tynamo, followed by a Diggersby, and there is a Rare. So there you go right there. First Rare. And then there is a Gorbis. So it looks like the better card is in the middle of the pack, so I pulled the Reverse Hollow as well as this Rare in that spot. Okay, now on to the Ancient Origins. It'd be nice to pull out one of those shiny gold-colored EX Full Art cards. Here's a shiny Groudon right on the front of this one. So I'll set that aside. I'll just do the card trick there just, to, just for some suspense there to move it to the back. So there's an Unknown, followed by a Rotom, and an Inkay. Really worked well there. Common card as the last card. Okay, next pack. It's a Persian right on the front. Okay. This one starts off with, like I said, Persian. There's a Faded Town Stadium card. And an Eevee. Okay, this one has Hoopa on it. I guess you can take a look at the... It's not a code card, but more of a preview card. It's advertising the Ancient Origin set. Card trick there. First card's Porygon. I am a big fan of this Pokemon. Then there's a Sligu and a Metagross. So there's a rare card, second rare of this opening. So we're right on par with really opening regular packs. 
course, not anything great polls wise yet. I still have quite a few packs left to go. And they had huge boxes of these packs at Dollar Tree. So there's definitely a potential for some good cards in the packs. Okay, so here's a Larvesta. Then we have a Level Ball. And a Vespaquin. Is that a rare? No, just an uncommon. So I believe that's the second reverse hollow that I've pulled so far. Now on to the last Ancient Origins pack. All right, it starts off with an NK. There's a Curlia and a Metagross. Now that is a rare reverse hollow. That's an excellent pull right there. So I can set that one aside. Now on to Breakthrough, and then we'll end this opening with the Breakpoint Packs. So, make a Mewtwo on this one. Be nice to pull one of the two secret rares in this set, both Mewtwo EX Full Art. So here this one starts off with a Spritzy. There is a Dedenne. And a Heavy Boot, so another Reverse Hollow. Okay, next up. And here's a look at the the card in the code card spot in this pack. Advertising Pokemon TV and then again it's just showing some these are X and Y series cards. These look like I said Ancient Origins but they're really Primal Clash there. Okay. Pack starts off with a Doduo. There is a Burning Energy. It's actually a pretty good energy card right there. And then there is a Ghastly. So still waiting on a great pull from Breakthrough. Did get a Reverse Hollow, but pulled at least one rare in, in the other two sets that have opened up so far. Okay, so we have a Panseer. There's a Fracture. And a Vanillite. Mega Houndoom pack here. Okay. We have an Inke. Floatstone. And a Pancham. On to the last breakthrough pack here. Hopefully at least a rare in here. Okay, so it starts off with a Starly. There's a Magneton and a Swinub. So first of the four sets that I bought that didn't have a rare in it. Hopefully Breakpoint has two rares out of the five packs, and here are the five. Looks like four of the five have the shiny Gyarados on it. Okay, here's the code card, or the preview card. It's advertising the XY series of anime, of course. Pokemon Sun and Moon are coming out. So the anime should have that season out. Okay, so first pack of Breakpoint. There's a Scorpy. There's a Tierno. And a Petalil. So we have a Temple, Puzzle of Time, and a pseudo and that is an uncommon. Okay, so this pack has 
Ratata, a Heatmore, and a Cricket Dot. Pack opened up pretty easy. Maybe that means something in here. Okay, so there is a Ducklet, followed by Pseudo Widow, and finally a Trubbish. Last pack of these 20 packs now I bought from Dollar Tree. Okay. First card is the Psyduck, second card, Cricketoon, and the final card in this opening, a Phantom Common card. So out of 20 packs, each a dollar a piece, so I spent $20 on Pokemon cards, only pulled out three rare cards, so it's definitely a better deal to buy the booster packs in stores that normally sell for $4.19 a piece. You're guaranteed for sure three rare cards if you buy three packs and it'd be less than $20 but the three that I pulled Metagross, Rare Reverse Solid, definitely my favorite card of the cards I pulled. Speaking of Metagross, the other rare card here is an Ancient Trait Metagross and then the third one is a Diggersby non hollow rare. So there you have it. I hope those who are requesting a Dollar Tree pack opening like this video quite a bit. If you'd like to see me open more Dollar Tree packs in the future, please let me know by commenting on this video saying so. But thanks everyone for watching. As always, check out all the links in the description of this video, including links to my blog, Facebook, and Twitter pages. And stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.